Good morning, RBCR kids. You guys ready to do some singing? Well, let's go. This is um, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. to do with our our um next our, our story today it is our god is so big ready our god is so big so strong and so Today I have a true story for you that has fear, bravery, and five smooth stones. Yes, I said five smooth stones. Let me tell you about it. The Philistines were on one side. Picture this. The Philistines on one side and the Israelites and their king are on the other. We're on the other. Ah! No, 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 no. What do you, what do you, no, not yet. You don't fight yet. Back up, back up. All right. So... Where were we? Yes, Philistines on one side, Israelites on the other. Then something happened. Goliath happened. <coughs> Goliath was the Philistine champion, and he was tall, like taller than Mr. Davis. He had all the strong armor, and on top of that, he had weapons that made a regular sword look like a butter knife. Every morning, Goliath would come out and shout and taunt at the Israelites across the valley. Send your champion of Israel to fight me. If he kills me, we will be your servants. But if I kill him, he will be our servants. <laughs> the Israelites were terrified and hopeless. Goliath even wanted to start fighting. I'm going to stop him too. 
Like, go ahead, not you yet. Not you. Remember, I just said that you, you wanted to, but you can't yet. All right. Now, let me tell you about David. You ready, David? All right. Goliath doesn't like David. I'll tell you that right now. All right. So, I, um, it, David was... Uh, I'm about to beat Israel's champion. Who cares about some random guy? Uh, just hold on and you'll soon find out. He's going to get a real surprise. <laughs> what? Nothing. 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 So there was a shepherd boy named David. He was the youngest in his family. Come, David, come over here. All right. He was the youngest in his family. Uh, David was sent by his father, Jesse, to deliver some things to his brothers who were in the Israelite army and checked in on them. While David was there, Goliath the champion came out and said the same things that he had said like a broken record. Hey! And I mean, I mean no harm, but you did say again, Israel, send out your champion to fight me. If you win, we Philistines will serve you. But if I win, you will serve us. Broken record, right? <laughs> All right. The Israelites were terrified. I can still see you. David had some, David had some righteous anger and shouted, Who is this Philistine who defies the army of the living God? Then David's brothers got mad at David, saying that he was just a shepherd. What did he know? Then word got around to King Saul about what this young man had said. King Saul, come bring him over here. And King Saul called him in. David said, let me at him. Saul said, you can't fight him. You are but a youth. Goliath has been fighting longer than you've been alive. David said, as a shepherd, I have fought off lions and bears. Oh my, David continued. And then they went for my lambs. I struck them and saved my lambs, even out of their jaws. This Philistine is not different. He has defied the army of the living God and the God that delivered me from the lion and the bear will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. Saul then told him, go, the Lord be with you. Saul then gave him armor and weapons that were too big and heavy. So David refused these things and picked up five stones at a, at a nearby stream. Yes, you heard me correctly. He refused the strong armor and frightful weapons and picked up five stones to use in his sling. So when David walked out to meet Goliath, Goliath just laughed at him and cursed him. Cursed David. David then said, this is the, or sorry, Goliath then said, this is the best you have, Israel. I will make bird and beast of you, bird and beast food of you. David responded, you come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of God of hosts, the God of the army of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you down and cut off your head. And I will give the dead bodies of the ho I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth. And all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hand. This made Goliath run over to fight David. David then ran quickly to meet the Philistine. The scary, strong, mean, ugly. Hey, hey, too far, too far. Right, fair enough. It doesn't say ugly in the Bible, but we can see your, well, thankfully we can't see your face. David then ran quickly to, to meet Goliath and David put his hand in his bag, took out a stone and slung it. He struck the Philistine yeah! in the forehead. And the stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face. David had killed him. Remember, David had no sword, just five stones. He took Goliath's sword and went over to his body and... Stop, stop, too far. Stop, too far. No, okay, stop okay. well, all right, well, right. and if you know what I mean. Um, when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. Hey, that kind of rhymed like yeah. rap. No. When the Philistines saw oh, the no, champion, no. No, that just sounds terrible. I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. the men of Israel and Judah rose with a shout Yay! and pursued the Philistines as far as Gath. Yay! <clears throat> 
They pursued the Philistines as far as Gath. Yay! Now fight, guys. You get to yeah! fight now. Yeah! Right, 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 okay, okay. All right. God had delivered the Philistines from Israel, the Israelites. Oh, sorry. God had delivered the Philistines to the Israelites. Israel had won. Yay! Yay! David and Goliath, a good story. You can find it in 1 Samuel. Um, so feel free to uh, enjoy and see what happens after David defeated Goliath. There's still way more, way more of the story to tell. Um, so I, I want to just say, um, to, to understand this story, to show that how Goliath, he was a blasphemer against the true God of Israel, not just a threat to Israel. Providentially, David comes in right at the right time when he, when Goliath is giving his slander against Israel and their God. David pro processed this with what he, what, what Goliath was saying, processing what he's saying with what he knew about the true living God. And David made it clear that he, he disagreed with that, obviously. Um, he didn't like what he was doing, what Goliath was saying about God and the Israelites, or about the Israelites, God's army. So David made it clear also that he was there to fight in the name of the Lord, God of hosts, not for his own self, not for Israel, but for God's, for God's honor, right? For God's name. David, um, also, he just didn't like the blasphemies. He couldn't tolerate them. Before David fought, he pointed the enemies to the true hero of the battle, which was the Lord, right? Remember he say, him saying that? Through David, the Lord gave Israel a great deliverance and a glorious victory over their enemies. Jesus did the same. What? You're saying like he didn't fight Goliath. We don't remember hearing. No, no, let me explain. Jesus, like David, came in weakness and defeated all God's enemies all God's enemies and ours. Jesus too was driven by his father's honor. Jesus would have ultimate victory over sin and death and the devil. He has delivered Christians to the cross. And now Christians can live in confidence and faith. All because Jesus is faithful. He is faithful. So let's remember that when you hear David and Goliath, think about Jesus. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and pray. And that'll be it. Lord, we come before you and we thank you for your love and your mercy. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus, for um, what, what uh, David did, Lord. Um, thank you that you gave him the ability to do that, brought him in at the right time. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that Jesus was even greater than what David did, Lord. He, he, Jesus defeated a Goliath, which is worse than anything, the, the biggest plague on our world, which is sin. Lord God, we thank you so much for that, Lord. Um, and I pray, Lord God, you'd help all the children who are listening to understand that and to truly um, hold it in their hearts, Father God. Help their hearts to be able to hear, truly hear this, Father God, and understand this. We love you and we thank you, God, and we pray that you would help us to honor you the rest of the day. In Jesus' name, amen.